This is a cotton boll weevil. While it is no longer the problem it once was in the United States, cotton growers still spent $20 million last year just to control it. One problem with this nasty little pest is that after cotton is harvested each year, this insect will take refuge in the cotton stalks and what is known as the regrowth cotton left behind. These boll weevil refuges are particularly problematic in the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas. The nation's southernmost cotton growing region, the area doesn't get cold enough there in the wintertime for freezes to kill off boll weevils. Cotton growers in the valley would like to be able to identify these refuges so they could spray to control them. But their fields are scattered over remote areas, making it nearly impossible to track down areas that need spraying just by walking through them. So what can they do? It's a problem that's being addressed by a team of ARS scientists in Texas with a special set of skills. An entomologist, a meteorologist, and an agricultural engineer who specializes in the use of aerial imagery. Essentially, the scientists decided to take to the air. They installed digital cameras inside a small plane and took images of cotton from the plane as the cotton grew and after it was harvested. They used two cameras. One shot standard color images and the other shot in the infrared spectrum and that gave the scientists what they call spectral reflectance signatures of the changing land cover patterns as the cotton grew and after it was harvested. To calibrate the images, they also laid down what are called reflectance tarps near the cotton fields. Each time they took aerial images, they went out to the fields and measured the cotton and other vegetation, so they could correlate it with the aerial images. They also correlated the size of the regrowth cotton with the air temperatures, so they could use the air temperatures in the future to tell if conditions were right for aerial surveys. This allowed them to come up with a computer model for predicting when the regrowth cotton that is serving as refuges in remote areas would reach a size that could be detected in the aerial surveys. The goal of the project was to develop an inexpensive system using standard digital cameras and filters that anyone could install in a small plane and use to detect these pesky boll weevil refuges. In the end, this unique team of ARS scientists found that the idea of taking to the air is not only feasible, but that it could be used in the near future to track down and control a pest that has plagued cotton growers for more than 100 years.